Hi guys, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and I have completed the uh, short leg canvas round drills, um, 75 by 200. It was a little bit out on those measurements, um, but I opened this May or June last year. So in between doing <laughs> all the other diamond paintings, I have been spending a bit of time getting this done, and this has taken a while. But one of the things I want to show you is, um, I'll give you a review on this, but I also want to show you how I worked with such a large canvas. So this canvas, um, I was unable to work with it straight out. Obviously it's not going to fit on my desk because obviously it is so long. But when I work with a large canvas, most of the time I'm able to work with it upright. But this one, if you actually have a look in there, I was not able to work with it um, in the normal way. So I had to work with this one on my desk this way. Okay, whoops, I've just knocked something over. So with what the process with working with a such a large canvas, I have a couple of Ever Moment tubes. What I, when I work with a large canvas, the bit that is I've got to do this to show you. Don't do this at home. This is not the way to roll a canvas with the drills in. But when there's no drills on, what I used to do, what I was doing, was I'd put this in the tube and I'd work on this bit and this tube would actually hold the rest of the um, canvas for me so that I didn't squash it or mangle it. Um, Although this is a short link canvas, so it takes it takes a lot of punishment. I and mean, this came in box only probably about that big. Yep, yeah, about that big. So it was folded quite a few times. Have a look at the um, unboxing when I did unbox this. But yeah, working with such a big canvas, I always I rolled the completed stuff around that way and put it inside the tube obviously with a cut in half so that you can see it so I'm actually going to unroll this out directly out of the tube um, I'll just pop that tube off there we go so that's all it takes is one tube for the drill what the side that's drilled which is rolled with the drills out and it's the part that's not got any drills rolled on the inside so it goes out like a scroll so now uh, just watch me unroll this guy this is stunning i will put video footage that i took while it was on the floor because <laughs> it was the only way to do it okay this i absolutely love this so you'll be able to see how much was rolled up and I've got a couple places where oh that's a bit of fluff we cardboard on there that comes off um, the drills are still all there I might need to straighten some up I'm still unrolling <laughs> and I'm still not near the end Hang on, this is now going over my desk, all over my feet. Okay. Okay, so that's the end of it. Okay, this is absolutely stunning. I was looking at getting rid of those letters, but um, I think that meant search or seeking or something like that. So 
for the fact that this was such a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, yeah, I did want to do it. You'll see that the canvas, see there's a fold, there's actually a fold there, you can see that. You can't see it on here. And I flatten that down. So the folds on a short length canvas don't show. You can't see it. Um, this one I will be, hang on, I'm just going to roll it back up and put it back in the tube. Uh, until I get this, till I frame it, um, it will be staying in the tube rolled up. It's too big to hang anywhere. Um, <laughs> gives you an idea of how big this is. <laughs> okay. It's an ordeal just to roll it up. The detail on this was pretty good. Um, so we've got, um, you see people here? Do I have another one? Yeah, there's a little man down here. People here, the houses. It's come up really nice. It doesn't look pixelated at all. And the waterfall looks stunning. And the AB drill, so there was yellow, white and red AB drills. So you can actually see, um, there's white AB here, uh, basically on the tops of the whites. These are OEBs here, here and here. And there is some yellow here. So there's AB drill scattered throughout the whole painting. Okay, what I'm gonna do is roll this over. Look at how, Rotty the back of this guy, it got horrible. But we don't show the back. So, to get this canvas back on the tube, it's just a case of over. Just blotting it over like that. So, now it's back in the tube. That's how I've managed to work with it. Um, I will roll it all back in properly, but that's what it's like to work with such a big canvas. Um, drills. I ran out of two colours, but then I do believe I had, I did have quite a bit of spillage in this. Um, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I ran out of two colours. I didn't run out anywhere near. Where are we? Come on. Okay, I've just I've labelled these properly. So um, that's an AB. That's an AB. So there's my ABs. I didn't run out of any colours. I will stay. Say I had really staticky drills, but the quality of the drills was right up there. So normally with staticky drills, you've got really good quality. Um, more sparkle and th there's a lot of sparkle to this diamond painting a huge amount of sparkle uh, which you will see in the video that I've um, shown you already um, short link canvas so as an idea this was from Alibaba um, this is a company that actually says minimum 50 uh, so minimum, minimum quantity of 50. I actually was in contact with them and went, I just want the one. So I brought this one. Um, I sh had it shipped Air Express. So basically, if I can recall, I ordered it. I paid 23 Australian dollars for it. I uh, paid 28 Australian dollars for freight. So the freight cost me more than the diamond painting and I think was here in less than five days. So I, one of the things I always say, I'm prepared to pay for freight and pay good money for freight if it's gonna get here quickly. Um, I've never had it, if, if, I, if I can get it quicker, I will pay a higher price for freight. Uh, so yeah, this company I will, you know, it was at Alibaba. I went through, I, I had a struggle actually getting locating how to get to the uh, store that I was after. 
but when I eventually got there, very helpful. Um, but yeah, so short link canvas, just so you know, short link canvas um, is very soft, very soft. Uh, and it's not a flimsy canvas either. It's, it's really thick and really soft and absolutely gorgeous to work with. Um, if you get the opportunity to get your hands on a short link canvas, give it a try. Don't be scared that it's folded. Uh, and this one, obviously small box, two meters long, still came out fantastic and I love it. And what I'm looking at doing is, framing wise, is just going onto a board Melamine board, what I will do is wrap this around the board so I'll get an edge like that. And that's what I'm looking at doing is wrapping it around a board. And um, this is for the hallway to absorb some of the noise that travels down the hallway. So, guys, thank you for watching. I hope that helps you a little bit with a working with a large canvas and also a short link canvas as well. And staticky drills, I'll put the, um, in the eye, I will put the link to the staticky drills because I had to deal with major static here. And I think it was this one that I did video footage of working with static drills. So guys, thank you for watching. Um, leave me a comment, what do you think? Would you try a short link canvas or have you done a short link canvas? If you've done a short link canvas, Give me your opinion on how you felt about it. And um, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you like. Hit the subscribe button. And um, hit the bell so you're notified when I'm going live. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.